On today's episode, I'll be making my brother a fixed blade knife for everyday carry. On this channel, I tell the story behind various woodworking and knife making projects. If this sounds like something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. For this knife build, I'll be using 1075 high carbon steel. So far, I've coated the metal with blue layout fluid and then scribed the template into the steel. Now I'll be using a center punch to mark out where I'll be drilling all the pinholes. I was planning on cutting this knife out on my bandsaw. I had purchased a new blade to do so. However, I didn't research the blade enough. It said that it was four carbon steels. However, it only went up to a Rockwell of about 45. When I looked into what annealed 1075 steel was, it was between 43 and 48, so it was just slightly too hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust out my grinding wheel and cut it out the way I've been doing previously. Now I'll dial in the profile of the knife using files and my 4x36 Wen belt sander. Now I'll be using my 8 inch when drill press to drill the pinholes and some weight reduction holes. To avoid some of the smoking and heat build up here, I should have used a couple more drill bits before going from like a small drill bit up to the biggest size. Now I'll be using some blue layout fluid again to mark out the apex of the blade and some of the various grinds that I'll be doing on the knife. You actually don't need anything special to mark out the apex of the blade. You can just use a drill bit. To grind the bevels of the knife, I'll be using my Wen 4x36 belt sander and for the bevel jig, it's simply a piece of angle iron with a bolt going through it. I'll also be dunking the knife in water frequently because especially on a 4x36 belt grinder, you're going to have a lot of heat buildup. Now I'm going to use a checkering file to add some jimping to the spine of the knife where your thumb will rest. For the knife scales, I'll be using some homemade burlap micarta. The orange micarta is made from construction paper and then the wood that I'll be using is mahogany. To glue the scales up, I'll be using the same epoxy that I used to make the micarta. It's total boat epoxy. It's probably not as ideal for this scenario though because it has a long working time, which is great for making micarta, but not as good for doing a scale glue up because you probably want it to dry slightly faster. To heat treat the knife, I'll be using a map gas torch and a paint can forge. I will heat the knife until it's non-magnetic. I'll get it a little bit hotter than that, and then I'll quench the knife in warm canola oil.
To temper the steel, I'll put it in the oven at 400 degrees for two two-hour cycles. Now I'll trim up the scales and then clamp the knife to them and go ahead and drill the pinholes. I hand sanded the knife to 320 grit and now I'll be acid etching the knife using ferric chloride that's diluted a little bit with water and then I will be stone washing the knife. To neutralize the acid, I'll be running it underwater and scrubbing it down with baking soda. This is the finished product. You can actually see the quench line here. Um, I wish it would have been run down a little bit further. However, the whole blade is hardened, which is what's important. To stone wash the knife, I'll put some pebbles in a PVC tube, spray all the pebbles in the knife down with WD-40, and then I'll agitate the tube with the knife in it for maybe like five or so minutes. I decided to use pretty fat pins for this knife. Uh, I'm not sure why because it does add a little bit of weight to the handle. However, maybe just because I haven't done it before, I wanted to try something different. And here, the drill bit I had didn't drill quite a big enough hole for the pin. So I will put the pin in my drill and shrink it down a little bit on my belt sander. Now that I have the pins ready to hold the scales in place, I can trace the scales out using the knife and then cut them out on a bandsaw and finish profiling them on the belt sander. I forgot to hit record when I trimmed these out on the bandsaw. However, here I am dialing in some of the more difficult to reach bevels once the scales are glued on the knife. Now that I have the scales profiled to where I need them, I'll clean everything off really well using acetone, and then I'll be epoxying the scales to the knife using some Gorilla Glue epoxy. Now I'll grind down the pins using my belt sander and then I'll finish shaping the scales using my belt sander, some files, and a Dremel. I'm going to grind in my secondary bevel using a 300 grit diamond stone. From there, I will go up to the other side, which is a thousand grit, and then I'll strop it. For the finish on the handle, I'll be using boiled linseed oil. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, hit the notification bell. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'm going to link another knife making video up in the right hand corner where I use even more basic tools to make a knife. As always, thanks for watching.